Hi, this video is a demonstration of using MetaEgg Android application for farm contextual metadata collection. This app collects the data related to who is doing what, in which field, when, and how. The app is still in unreleased stage, and this is the first version of MetaEgg. The application is open source, and the source code and installation file can be found in these links. Now, let's see the demo of this app. Here is a screen of my phone, my uh, Android smartphone. This is uh, Android 11 and the phone is Samsung A12. This is my Meta Egg uh, icon. Let's say join now. I have already logged into this system, so uh, the home screen is has been appeared here. If you are new user, you may need to register through a registration and authentication form, and then you need to log into this system to see the page. Otherwise, the system will not allow you to enter into this page. Here in user button, we can see uh, the username. I am Samuel, and this is my email ID showing in here. If I say log out, I will log out from this system. So I'm just going back to show the demo. Here, the first step is to draw our geofences. Here we are using a Google map for drawing our geofences to mark our field virtually. We zoom in and see or target a field. Uh, before that, if we have a previously stored field or marked field, we can see them where our fields are located. So no copy or, or no duplication occurs. Here we can see I have marked some other fields previously, so I'm just ignoring them and making a new geofence. Let's get this field. Here we need to set some pointers by clicking on that map. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Yes, let's draw this one. Yeah, the field has been marked. And if we want to remove the shade, we can remove it and give it a name. Let's give it a name. Demo field. Oops. And then say save. Successfully inserted. The field has been inserted successfully in cloud and also in local storage. If we want to see the fields again, we uh, let's say clear. And then, yeah, the field has been shown here. Then, if we want to access the field automatically, the app will help you to store the access fields whenever you enter into the field automatically. So to enable this system, we will use this auto record option for it. We can say, enable GPS location. This will start uh, tracking uh, your, your GPS location until you click uh, to disable the GPS access. It was showing uh, in agriculture and biological engineering, but now I am in a field, so it is showing that the field name is test BJ, and entry time is now. And if we uh, get an exit from this field, test BJ, we can see, let's use a location changer for only for the demo. It's, it's not recommended, but for, for the demo, I am using this uh, location changer app. Let's say I am 
outside of this field. Let's say I'm here. The location changes and it says you work in test VJ. Let's see the notification here. The notification is the third notification for this app. So let's go to this notification. If we tap into the notification, it will take us to a list of fields. So the test BJ field is listed here for today. Test BJ entry time is 11.53.40 and exit is 11.54.41. So we spent one minute in this field. <laughs> so this is, this is the access field list in data wizard module of this app. So if, if we can we can get an entrance in this module from our home page, the data wizard module will help you to see the same page. See here we have test VJ. And if we go into this field, we will go to the info bot. The info bot collects the extra data or extra metadata related to the that activity what uh, we are trying to um, log into our system or we are trying to record. So it says, Infobot says the field name was test PJ entry at the year, month, and day, and the time was this one. Oops. And if uh, first question it asks is, what was your activity? What did I do in test VJ field? Let's say we did harvest. What type of harvest I performed? Manual or mechanical? Obviously mechanical. And then which power unit did I use? A combine. Which combine did I use? It was S660. Any note about the asset? Do I have any note? I say um, combine was good. Now, the, what was the implement? We have any implement or not? Let's say we didn't have any implement. So which material did I use? Any material? We will say nothing. And do I want to keep any other note related to this activity? I may say no, no note for now. Let's say yes. Do you have other another activity in this field? If we say yes, the infobot will be refreshed and the infobot will restart. And if we say no, it will take us to the access field list. Let's say yes for now. Yeah, let me restart it. So now let's say we have a new uh, new activity in that particular time, and this was sewing. So which sewing did I perform? Let's say line sewing. Which crop? Now the question has been changed. The crop is now, let's say corn P0720 AM. What was the seed rate? The seed rate was 6,000 or 60,000 maybe, maybe, yes. Plant density was 60,000, 60, let's say yes. Which power unit did I use? The same question will appear. Um, the power unit should be a tractor, yes, a tractor. And which tractor? Let's say John Deere tractor. And do I have any note about that power unit? You say no. And now the power unit will say it will the field cultivator or planter. Yes. Which material did I use? Material was nothing. I say okay, leave it blank. Or uh, we can use the uh, voice recorder over here. So if we go to this option, let's say, uh, no note. Yeah, done. Do I have any other activity? So 
So we don't have any other activity in that particular time and in that particular place or particular field. So we say no. Now, yes, the test VJ is gone. Now, what if the app cannot record the accessed field automatically? Anything can happen, like the user may not bring the phone with him or her, or the automatic detection may not be enabled. Considering those circumstances, a floating action bar for manual input was initiated. Here is the button, just click on the button and the user will be able to include or insert a new field manually. Let's say the field name is test field. The entry date is today, the entry time is at 9 a.m. in the morning. The exit date is today. And the exit time is at 10 a.m. today, just one hour. And let's say add fields credentials. Here, the field, the insert field is the new field is inserted with the entry and exit time. If we click on that field, we can see the same info bot for that particular field, which was inserted manually. The access data. Uh, we inserted a, a set of data in our system and now we can access it. Let's say, uh, yeah, data read successfully. Let's say activity history and we can see the list of fields here and here is our test BJ at the last. So, and the recent time is at the last of the list. So this is the last place. And let's go, yes. The activity, the first activity we recorded was harvest, mechanical harvesting, power unit was combined. The combine was good. And this thing, the entry time, exit time, staying time was automatically recorded, uh, including the field name obviously, and the person's name. The operator was me, Samuel. And the next activity was sewing. And no note, yeah. <laughs> Google did that for me. And operator was me, and the entry time was the same. Now, we go to, we can download the data, actually. If we click in download the data, so it says the data exported successfully, the directory is documents. This thing uh, I, I will show you later. And this option, catch all, cache all fields, is for pulling all the fields located in, in cloud or stored in cloud by all the members of that farm. So we can see which fields have been marked um, as a virtual geofence or, and which are not, which should we mark now. So if we want to uh, get access or get uh, automatically record all the fields stored in cloud or all the fields stored by all the farm um, workers or farm um, personals. So we can just click the uh, catch all field and you can see field boundaries cached. So now if we go to another uh, module, the last module is set options module. Here we can see a bunch of uh, options. So we can add an option for any activity like we did digging, if we do uh, sewing or any activity, we just click here and we, we, we can see what activity is existing right now. If we click any of them, it will uh, allow us to edit the current activity. Uh, activity name is, here activity name is harvest and we, we have another type like manual or mechanical harvest. Let's say another type of harvest. Mm, do we have another type of harvest? I think no. So let's say uh, none and add. It will come when uh, we open the chat bar. And we can also uh, add a power unit. Let's say uh, we want to add a new combine. So combine the specification is new combine John Deere, John Deere and add it. We can just add it. And if we have a new power unit or which is not in list, 
So we just click any of them and say, let's say car, car, right? car, and specification should be um, new red car and add it. So it's not showing up in here, but if we go back and come again, we may see the new power unit car. So the same thing happens for all of them. Like we, if we want to um, add a new crop, we can just add a crop and then say add. We want to add a new material. We will say any of, click any of them and add a new material. The procedure is all same. Now, why have the data have been saved? The data, we can see it in my files, internal storage, We see downloads, yes, downloads. They're all my files, sorry for that. Yes, I think this is the date for today. And let's open the file. Um, Shades, just once. Yes, the, all, all the things I have inserted Till date is stored here. We, I just downloaded all the data from cloud. So this is the end of this demo. I hope you enjoyed the, the demo. Thank you so much.